There's so many. We'll crush them all. That was easy. They got us from behind. Cowards. Oh, 
That'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. Because you... will be here any moment. Any further resistance is futile. That's right. You're finished. Oh, this is far from finished. I put ten years into building gas for us, Spire, and while it stands, nothing can stop me. And with that man and the Empire wrapped around my finger, I was able to build my magnificent Blastia. That man... I'm just gonna let you waste the lower quarter's core like this? Oh, it won't go to waste. I'll use this to eliminate White Horse, and then I will be leader of the guilds. Then the Empire is next. With this power at my disposal, the very world will be mine. And I'll start with you! Be gone, worms! Is everyone all right? That sword is going to be a problem. Problem? Is that thing even legal? It is very powerful. <laughs> the Blastia seems to be working just fine. What? What's wrong? <laughs> you haven't won yet. All right. Playtime's over. Time to wipe Dongrest off the map and you along with it. Get down. Tables of turn, Barbos. So, all that fancy wisdom and the power of the blast here were nothing but a sham. Should have known from the start that I'd have to depend on my own strength. Take up your swords! You know, he was so much easier to deal with when he was all drunk on power. Yeah, there's nothing worse than an enlightened idiot. I am the only man to stand as White Horse's equal in battle. Now you will know the power of Barbos 
the Stormblast and his Blood Alliance! down. It's over. Accept your fate. Ugh. Your henchmen have run out on you. That's it, Barbos. It looks like you were the fool who didn't know when to give up. <laughs> Perhaps you were right. Then you'll surrender. I... I won't be humiliated any more than this. Yuri, was it? <laughs> you remind me of Whitehorse in his youth. You're his spitting image. Hope you're not saying I'm gonna end up like that old man. Not exactly something to look forward to. Like the dawn. Sooner or later, you will make great enemies in this world. And then that world will consume you whole. Regret. 
sorrow, and despair will hound you all the way to hell. So glad the core is safe. Wow, the Aqua Blastia core is so small. So we've got your core back. That takes care of one problem. Yes, but we weren't able to take Barbos into custody. Yes, that alone is quite regrettable. What are you talking about? A creep like that is better off. Ow! Ow! Besides, I think it's too early to say anything's been taken care of. Yeah, I have to find out if this thing even works anymore. Hmm. Blastia cores don't break all that easily. Huh. Bet you didn't know that, did you, Ra Raven? Jeez, what is up with that guy? Just showing up whenever he wants. You're one to talk, Rita. Takes all kinds, I suppose. He probably headed back to Dongrist. I'm sure we can find him if we need to. I'll go on ahead as well. I left my people with a considerable amount of work. Your Highness, if you would please accompany me. Um, can't I stay with everyone a little longer? We'll look after your unreasonable princess a little longer. Isn't that easier for you too? We'll make sure she gets to Dongrest. Very well. But in exchange, I ask that you take the utmost caution. Absolutely no detours, okay? All right, all right. Then I take my leave, Your Highness. Until we meet again in Dongrest. Thank you, Flynn. Why do you look so sad? Are you okay? I was just thinking. I still owe that creep to Deki a good beating. You got the Blastia back. Isn't that enough? Why chase after some stupid thief? Yeah, I guess you're right. If I ever cross paths with him, though, he's in for a surprise. Waiting for me in hell. Huh. Why do you have to go and say that? Hey, come on already. Let's get back to Dongrest. Well, I will take my leave from you here. Off to meet up with your partner? Partner? Who do you mean? We'll be operating individually from now on. That way we won't interfere with each other's work. I see. I'll well, see you later. Yeah. Come back! 
I'm innocent, I tell you. This is a plot by the Knights to destroy the Council. He doesn't know when to quit, does he? Where's Flynn? I can't make him out from here. plan to crush this town once you've all been lured into a false sense of safety. On the honor of the Imperial Knights, I swear that we would never perpetrate such disloyalty. You're... Flynn Shifo. The Empire and the Union have joined in a treaty of friendship. What? Impossible. At this moment, Don Whitehorse and His Highness Yoder are in council together. It's only a matter of time until it's made official. But how? I thought that cursed Alexei was tied up in other matters. Yes. It is true that our Commandant could only make a brief appearance before returning to the capital. Then, on whose authority? No! This can't mean my plans have been ruined by this... this boy! put an end to the suffering of the people of Capua Nor as well. Here's hoping the next magistrate they get is more of a stand-up guy. I will do what I can to make sure a worthy person is chosen when I get back to the castle. To the castle? You mean you're going back to the capital, Estelle? Yes. With Rago gone, the rest of the castle should have returned to normal. see it in your face. No, I... Well, you should do what suits you best. You've made up your own mind, right? I will go back. I don't want Flynn or anyone else to have to worry about me anymore. It's gonna be lonely without her, won't it, Repeat?
It's terrible! Oh, man. Just let me sleep. Brigo! He... he... What did Brigo do? They say he used his standing in the council to reduce his charges! It looks like he's gonna get off with only a minor drop in rank, after everything he did! This has got to be a joke. It's not a joke! It's the truth! So this is how the Empire works now, huh? Damn it, this is not funny. What do we do, Yuri? Hmm. I don't know. How can he not get punished? Wait, if we tell Estelle, maybe she can do something about it. Hey, don't go giving the princess too much trouble. Damn it. What's Flynn doing anyway? I wonder if he's at his post right now. Doesn't anyone knock anymore? You knew I'd be coming. That outfit. As of today, I've been assigned the post of captain. So, the birth of the Flynn Brigade, huh? Looks like I've been one-upped again. If that's how you feel, you should come back to the Knights. You'd be able to... Don't waste your breath. Congratulations on making captain. Thank you. You didn't come down here to celebrate my promotion. No, I didn't. It's Rago, isn't it? Appropriating Nor Harbor for his own purposes, committing treason by his collusion with Barbos. Add to this stealing from the populace and the extermination of even his own people simply because he didn't like them. The people he killed were either fed to monsters or sold to those who will pay money for corpses. Sick bastard. That he should be able to do those things and not have to answer for them. The authority of the council is far more powerful than I'd imagined. I thought with this promotion to captain that I'd gotten a bit closer to my goal. But I have to face the fact that the law can't even punish a single person like Rago. You know it doesn't end here. You'll climb even higher until you can make the right changes. True, but many people will continue to suffer in the meantime, needlessly. When I consider that, I... Don't go flying off the handle and smacking him around. The progress you made would all be for nothing. <sighs> if he's above you, you go even higher, and then... Yes. Someday I'll create a legal order that treats everyone with equality. I have to. Good. And I'll do things my own way. Yuri? How would you go about punishing the villains that the law can't touch? I'm still trying to figure that out. It seems I may have gotten a little careless when I thought Alexei wouldn't be around. Flynn Shifo, that impertinent upstart. This is a grudge I won't soon forget. I will bring down the full authority of the Council on you. Ah! What the... It's you. 
Do you intend to harm me? I'm a member of the council, you know. I could crush you w with a single command. You won't get away with this. The laws in the council may have let you go, but I'm afraid I can't do that. Ah, st stay back! So close, day nomos. Repeat. split up. Please, come visit the castle anytime. He'll really come if you say that. What? Didn't she just invite me? Huh. Idiot. With the treaty, it'll become easier for guild members to enter the capital. That's right. Princess, we should be going. Oh, yes. I promise to do what I can about Rago to see that he gets the punishment he deserves. Princess, you should know. What? You see... Lord Rago has not been seen since last night. We do not yet know the details. His whereabouts are being investigated as we speak. What could this mean? Maybe he got scared and ran away. Well, I guess I'll be going too. I want to check out stuff like those air credits. When I finish my analysis, I'll, um, pay a visit to the capital too. I'm looking forward to it. Uh, okay then, see ya! from here. I want to start up a guild with Yuri. That sounds like a good idea. Your Highness. Sorry, I'm ready now. Shouldn't I go get Yuri? No, I wouldn't want to wake him. All right. Well, this is it. Yeah, I hope we see each other again. Yuri, 
Are you awake? Estelle and Rita already took off. Oh. If you hurry, you might still be able to catch her. I can meet them anytime I want. Jeez, Yuri. Fine, if that's how you're gonna be. Even if I did go, it would just make it harder for them to leave. What the? Monsters? Carol, any idea what that thing is? No, I've never seen anything like that before. It's coming down! Come on, Carol. What? Hey, wait! Just when I get to relax, I get dragged into another mess. Yuri, fate really is out to get you. Hey, it's not all my fault. You had a role in this too. But I never ran into gigantic monsters or got arrested by knights before I met you. Well, things didn't go bad for me until I left the capital with Estelle. So that means... Drop it. Keep moving. R right. can do. Huh. You expect me to stand by while that thing makes a snack out of Estelle? The insipid poison of this world must be purged. It can speak. Who, who are you? Yuri! You're safe. Judas? 
don't. It's too dangerous. Look who's talking. I'll be fine. You go on ahead. Come on, quickly! My, you're a stubborn one. Now I can't just go back to the capital. There are too many things I still need to know. Surely after returning to the capital, you can... The voices of the people suffering in Nora Harbor never reached the capital. I won't achieve anything if I'm not willing to approach these problems head on. I've come to realize that during my travels. That's why. That's why I have to keep going. Your Highness! Get this court back to the lower quarter. Yuri! I won't be going back to the capital anytime soon. I'm going to start up a guild. Give my regards to Hanks and everyone else. Yuri! A guild? So that's what you meant by doing things your own way? Yeah, I finally made up my mind. That's fine, but what about Princess... Take care, Flynn. Yuri! I suppose I should have talked to you first, but here's to our new guild, Carol. Right! All right, let's go. If we hang around here much longer, some of those knights are bound to come after us. huge flying monster actually talked, right? You ever heard of a monster like that? I've never seen or heard of anything like that. I don't think anybody in the Hunting Blades has. Man, first that thing at Karabakram and now this. The world's just full of surprises. I don't care how many lives you have, it wouldn't be enough to fight that thing. Yeah, not even I feel like taking on a monster like that. With the circumstances being what they are, this is just how things turned out. I don't mind a few extra travel companions, but we do need to put in a little more effort. Just how far are we going? I guess Heliord's our closest destination, so at least until there. What? Should we rest a little once we get out of the city? Agreed. Okay, okay. Now let's get moving.
I'm taking a break. It's probably a good time. Looks like no one is following us anymore. How can you tell? Hmm. Intuition, I suppose. Intuition? Anyway, we should be fine here. Let's rest for now. When we have time to take a longer rest, we've got to decide a few things about our guilt. What is it with you and taking breaks? What do you hope to accomplish by starting a guild? Accomplish? Hmm. I want our guild to become really big! And then someday we'll follow in the Dawn's footsteps and protect Dawngrest ourselves! That way, I can show him my gratitude for all the years he's defended the city! That's a wonderful dream, Carol. I'll just stick with the boss here. Huh? B boss Me? You were the first one to bring up this crazy idea. <laughs> I guess you're right. So, what's the first order of business? To calm down. Yeah! <laughs> you make guilds sound like fun. Why don't you join the guild as well, Judith? Hmm, I wonder. Do you think they'd let me? The most important thing is obeying the guild's laws. Those who break the laws will be severely punished, even friends or family. The laws are the source of a guild's pride. No one can be admitted without making a solemn pledge to uphold them. And what are the laws of your guild, Carol? Um... Everybody supporting each other and always acting with the interests of the guild in mind. Striving to always do the right thing, while punishing those who don't. What do you mean? All for the guild, and the guild for all. Do justice and punish the unjust. Everyone's opinion will be valued, so long as it doesn't go against these laws. Yuri, that's just what I... Right, boss? All for the guild, and the guild for all. Yeah! That's it! Those are our laws! It looks like these will be my laws from now on as well. Sure it's okay to make up your mind like that? Yes. You've got me curious. All for the guild. I like the way that sounds. Well then? I pledge to uphold the laws. For the guild's sake. And my own. How about your partner? Thanks for your concern, but it's all right. He won't mind. Your partner? A friend I was traveling with earlier. Huh. I didn't know you had someone like that. Okay, so from today on, we'll be your new partners, Judith. I look forward to it. Me too. Oh. Then... Okay, let's call it a day for now. Yeah, I almost forgot how sore I am. Oh, Yuri. Hey, you're not asleep? No. Is something the matter? No, I was just trying to think of what our next move should be. Yes. I didn't even think I'd be able to continue traveling with you. I'm still trying to decide if I should. You're really going to put your all into this guild, aren't you? I'd like to say I'm just going to go with the flow, but I went and bragged to Flynn about it. I guess I can't slack off now. Carol certainly seems happy. 
I'm a bit jealous. Oh, does Her Majesty the Princess wish to join our humble guild? If I asked you to let me in, would you let me in? If you've thought about this and it's your decision, I won't try to stop you. Yeah, you're right. I should really give this some thought. Well, don't think too hard about it. <laughs> How can I decide? What, you're not asleep? Nah, I've been trying to think of a name for our guild. I'm going to think of something really cool. Sure, I can't wait. Yuri? Hmm? I was thinking about this. We made our guild without first swearing allegiance to its laws, didn't we? Yeah, but did that earlier today, right? So no worries. Yeah. Yuri? What is it? Did you just make those laws up, or did you hear them somewhere? They just came to me. Why, were they no good? Oh no, not at all. It's just... Those were the exact same laws I'd been thinking of. I'm really happy that I was able to make a guild with you, Yuri. <laughs> what a thing to say. Don't get all mushy on me. <laughs> I... Oh! What now? I thought of a name! The Super Ultra Courageous Braves! <laughs> that sounds like a name Captain Carol would come up with, definitely. Let's go with that, then. Right! Thanks. For what? You're staying up to keep watch, aren't you? No, not at all. You're so evasive. You're one to talk. Huh. Weird. I always thought I was pretty straightforward. Seriously? You haven't even given your real reason for joining our guild. I joined because I wanted to. That's it? No. So long as they don't go against the laws of the guild, everyone's wishes are respected, right? Don't worry. I said I'd uphold the laws, and I will. But in my own way. All right. Well, I'll get you to tell me the real reason eventually. So it was a coincidence that you were in Dongrest? Yes, I was. That's the truth. Isn't it lovely? Sure. Lovely. Thanks. For keeping watch? For talking. Repeat. You're keeping watch too, huh? So, we started a guild. We're a motley crew, but it should be interesting. <laughs> You're our number two. Try not to give the boss too much of a hard time. You should get some rest, too. What's that? Are you saying I should just trust you to keep watch for us? 
All right, I'll get some rest then. Thanks, Repeat. I hope we can find some work to do now that we've made our guild. Easy, Tiger. So, Estelle, what are you gonna do? I want to go looking for that talking monster. If it was me he was after, I want to find out why. Don't feel like you'll be able to rest easy till you find out, huh? But how will you do that? How can you look for a monster if you have no idea where it is? I thought you were in charge of all the monster-related information. Don't ask me! Even I've never seen anything like that before. That was no monster. His name is Pharaoh. Do you know about him? I saw him earlier when I was traveling with my friend, and it was my friend who knew his name. Why would your friend know the name of something like that? Where did you see it? It was on the Desier continent, in the sands of Kogor. That's the continent to the southwest of Tolbikia. The continent of Desier. The desert. You don't just go marching off to a desert because someone saw a monster. He's right, you know. I wonder if that fairy tale could be... Fairy tale? Something I read at the castle. A tale about a monster that speaks, who lives in the sands of Kagor. There are always stories like that. Like the one about the monster in the sea who talks to people. I think you've got it backwards. Backwards? Such creatures do exist, but they have simply become the stuff of legend. It's like the saying, where there's smoke, there's fire. Yeah, but... Are you thinking of going all the way to a place like that alone, Estelle? Huh? Well, I... If we don't keep up this little bodyguard operation, she'll really march off on her own. What do you think? Let's take this as our first guild assignment. Hey, you're right! We'd be breaking our own laws if we let her go alone. That's right. But if this is a real job, We'll have to charge Estelle our fee. Well, we don't need to worry about something like money, right? Nope. No exceptions. Money is a necessity for running a guild. Um, I'm afraid I'm a bit short on funds at the moment. In that case, why don't we just figure something out later? I'll pay the fee, I promise. So let's all go together. Okay, looks like that settles it. This way, we can all continue the journey. All right! Super Ultra Courageous Braves, fall out! W what is that? Huh? That's our guild's name! We can't go with that. We need something easy to say that has a real snap to it. Oh, really? Well... How about something like... Brave Vesperia? It's the star that gives off the brightest light in the night sky. The brightest star! Cool! Brave Vesperia. Hmm. I like it. Let's stick with that. Okay, that settles it! Let's get to Torum Harbor and charter a boat! We're off on an ocean voyage to the continent of Desier! Didn't you want to take a break at Halyard? Ah, uh, who needs it? Either way, we can't get to Torm without passing through Heliod. I'd also like to see how they've been doing since the Blastia went out of control. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. Alright, we'll just stop in for a quick look around the city. Okay. So, first to Heliod, then from Torm to Desier by boat. Okay, I'll try again. Brave Vesperia, fall out! Or Thank you. 
Yuri, I was a little surprised to hear that you're starting a guild. Well, it's not like I'll be doing it all on my own. Did Carol give you the idea? Yeah, but I've been thinking about it myself for a while now, too. I quit the nights to find my own way of doing things. But I hadn't done anything. What Flynn said to you back in the port town, that got to you, didn't it? Nothing that guy says could get to me. He doesn't like to admit his feelings, does he? No. city seem less busy than before? Yeah, this place has gotten a lot more ghost towny. Now that you mention it, maybe. Huh? What's wrong? In Dongrest, I heard that the construction work here is so brutal that tons of people have been fleeing. I don't know if that's true or not, though. Huh, interesting. She has to do something about it. What do you mean? You can see it on her face. If that's the case, we should go to the inn and have a strategy meeting first. After all, we need to go check on the Blastia, too. Yeah, and it's not like Estelle can just let things go. You can't just ignore people's problems, can you? I know, I know. So then, let's go! To the inn! He sure is getting into it. He's so happy that he was able to start a guild with Yuri. Hey, it's not like I did this just for Carol's sake. But you care about his feelings, don't you? Yeah, well... Come on, we should hurry to the end. I guess I can't let things go either.
Late night stroll? The scenery here reminds me of home. Huh. Your home must be in a pretty place then. I just mean that it's up high like this and has a good view. Not that I have a problem with heights. <laughs> yeah, I guess you wouldn't, riding around on that monster. His name is Ba'ul, and he's not a monster. And it's not only because he can fly. We've been together ever since he saved me during the war. War? You mean between the Empire and the Guilds? This world always seems to be ravaged by some war or another. Yeah, I guess so. It was you who attacked Estelle here earlier, wasn't it? You're pretty sharp if you were able to tell who it was I was after. I'm just that kind of guy. Pharaoh also appeared because of Estelle. Is there some connection between them, between him and your partner? It's hard to explain. But you won't deny it, that you would come for her. I'm afraid I'm not very good at lying. All right, I won't ask any more questions. But if it looks like you're going after her again... You needn't worry. I won't be doing that sort of thing anymore. You have my word. You mean it? What can I say that will make you believe me? Well, you said you were no good at telling lies. It's not like we're all that different. I've got a few skeletons in my closet, too. He's a strange one. that went berserk last time. We picked a name, made laws, got our first job. We're a pretty respectable guild now. But are three members really respectable? Why not? The Dark Wings, the famous Thieves Guild, they only have three members too. Quality over quantity. Too many people get to be a headache, and I prefer a small group. But you can't follow in the Dawn's footsteps and defend Dongrist without a few more bodies. Yeah, I guess. But if we just put one foot in front of the other, I know we'll be big someday. So then you're saying we can take it easy? No way! We gotta give this guild 110%! Aye, <laughs> aye, Captain. It seems like the area has returned to normal. Yeah. Doesn't look like it's gone berserk since then. Hey, it's those guys we met at Nor Harbor. Mrs. Stell! How have you been? Who is this? these people out at Nor Harbor. We can't thank you enough for all you've done for us. Where's your father? I haven't seen Teagle, my husband, for the past three days. Sounds like that rumor might be true. 
Don't you have any hunches? Yes. The night before he disappeared, he talked again about working to become a noble. Become a noble? What do you mean? When this city is finally completed, we will be able to live here as members of the nobility. Huh? That doesn't sound quite right. What do you mean? The rank of nobility is reserved for those whose service has earned the Emperor's confidence. But Sir Q. Moore gave his word to us. He said we would be welcomed as nobles. Q. Moore? From the Imperial Knights? Yes. He is acting as the current magistrate of the city. I'll bet he is. That is strange, though. I mean, the Imperial Throne is empty and all. But then... Then why on earth have we been working this hard? And what about Teagle? Is father not coming back? Hey, Yuri. You're gonna ask me why we don't take this on as a guild, right? I promise to take care of her fee when I pay my own. Well, okay, that's fine. What? But I... So this means our next job is finding a missing person. And if Q Moore is up to his usual stunts, we'll just have to slap him around till he stops. Right. The knights do exist for the protection of the people, after all. Let's just make sure we're careful. The knights could squash a little guild like us if we get on their bad side. As you wish. We'll find your father, I promise. Just wait right here. Well, that's that. We'll take the job. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Let's go find him. There's something very suspicious about that area over there. Yeah, even more so because it's marked off limits. I wonder if there's some way we could get in. Careful, guys! Remember? Careful! to pass if I could. Sorry, no can do, buddy. The laborer's camp ahead is too dangerous. <laughs> Thank goodness. Knowing you, Yuri, I thought for sure you'd try to force your way through. 
Well, proceed with caution and all that. Boss's orders, you know. But how should we get by the guards? I really think forcing our way through would be the simplest and most effective way in. No, I won't allow it. All we need to do is draw the guard away from his post. But how will we do that? Maybe by, you know, seducing him with feminine wiles. Well then... Well, Judy, you're probably the best choice. Yes, I think so. Aren't you sure of yourself? Well then, shall we? Where are we going? To buy a dress, of course. I can't seduce anyone in these rags. <sighs> Isn't what you're wearing good enough? No, no, my pride would never allow it. I don't really understand, but she appears to be going to buy a dress. So she's going to see the peddler then? With Judas seducing the guard, this plan can't fail! I'll do my best to live up to your expectations, Carol. What can I do to be like Judas? Hmm? Did you say something, Estelle? Oh, no, just talking to myself. scale and a small bird feather I could make you something nice you should be able to get all of the items from the monsters on the outskirts of the city all right let's go Judas really into this isn't she seems like she likes this sort of thing Pretty good.
they look scary. to change your costume like that. So grown-ups are interested in these kind of outfits. All is ready. Let's go. Hey, are you seriously going out in that outfit? Huh? Something wrong with this? Well, I could see everything. Uh, never mind that. It's very cute, and I have a feeling that this is gonna work. Before that, could you do something about your outfit? just now? No, no uh, I didn't see anything. 
I didn't even see if there was anything to see. Oh, is that so? That's a shame. Uh, it's a shame. Are you going to make me say it out loud? Uh... I've fallen madly in love with your big, strong work ethic. <laughs> madly in love? Mm-hmm. So, you get what I'm saying, right? Uh, um, uh, maybe. Maybe I'll just have to come out and make it clear. Would you like for you and me to have, uh, a little fun? Yeah, but, but uh, there's someone back in the capital that I promised to marry. No, don't be such a stick in the mud. But I, uh... work. Can't believe adults can be easily fooled like this. And how long are you gonna stay in that costume? I guess this calls too much attention. I'll leave it at the shop. But what was the fun thing you were talking about? Going for a swim. to the next step. Huh? Well, it should be easier to go in if you dress like a knight. Who? Me? Carol would work just as well. What? Me? Yeah, maybe you're right. Hmm? Carol, you do it. You, you want me to dress up as a knight? But will the suit fit me? Ugh. It's hard to move around. Don't worry, you'll get used to it quickly. I wonder... Hey! Quit goofing off over there! Uh... Huh? You should get back to your post before things get even more out of hand. No! You've got it all wrong! Wait! Let go! Help! Yuri! Why didn't you help him out? I, uh... was taken by surprise it all happened so fast. We should go and see what's happened. What could be going on in there? <laughs> Good question. is in there, right? Yeah, suppose we should go take a look. Rita! Estelle, what are you doing here? Was it you causing all that racket in here? You guys... Do you think Carol's all right? Yeah, Carol. Carol! What, is that runt here too? What, you still want some? Hold up, Carol. Yeah! Rita, you suck! Have you calmed down? Yeah. So what are you doing in a place like this? I thought I'd check out the Blastia here before investigating the air credit. And you wound up biting off a little more than you could chew, just like always. But what was it you got involved in? They sneak the Blastia into the labor camp at night. I mean, that's already pretty shady. Don't tell me you were sneaking around investigating it when you got caught. Of course not. I was very stealthy about it. And then you got caught. 
Well, I couldn't just sit around while they were trying to do something weird with the Blastia. The people here have been threatened by the Knights and are being made to work. I bet Teagle's in there, too. We cannot allow this to go on. And what about this Blastia you saw? It was a Hope Loan Blastia. It looks like they're gathering them up for a war. They wouldn't. You don't think they're planning on attacking Dongrest again? But why? After they've just set up the friendship agreement. It's got to be Qmor. There's no way he intends to keep any promises he made to the guilds. Do you know him, Yuri? You met him once, at Kerbakram. Oh, you mean the guy with the creepy voice? I don't mind discussing things here, but aren't we forgetting something? That's right! We've got to rescue Teagle and the others! Then we'll put an end to that forced labor, get rid of all the Blastia they're gathering, and... Uh, you can't just get rid of Blastia. They need to be recovered and taken care of. Then we'll have the mages and Ospio come pick them up. Wait! We're being careful, right? But... One thing at a time. R right. Okay, then let's get back to our original plan and head down. Okay. I'm impressed that you passed for a real knight, Carol, despite your height. It's amazing, especially considering he wasn't wearing the full suit of armor. That knight must have been so panicked that he didn't see anything besides your helmet. People usually notice things like that, though, right? Then why'd you put me up to this in the first place? You shouldn't be going to the sands of Kogor now, sir. <laughs> I don't have to pay attention to Alexei's orders. Using the money and weapons I have, everything will soon be within my reach. And I hope you remember to appreciate the work Leviathan's Claw has done for you. Yes, you will be taken care of, Jaeger. You'll take those weapons I sold you and attack the Union. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> I'm afraid I have my sights set on loftier things than the Union. Ignoring the Don is a big no-no. He is a wonderful guy, yeah? Don't go forgetting that. My, my. It almost sounds as if you respect the man. Respect him, I do. But Leviathan's Claw always gets the job done. Oh, such dedication. That's just what I like about you. Don't worry, though. You're looking at the future Commandant of the Imperial Knights. That fool Alexei telling me to watch the Union while he signs friendship treaties with them. Yeah, you tell him. If it were me, I'd crush them in the blink of an eye with your lovely weapons. with the weird hair looked over here and laughed. He definitely spotted us, all right. So he thinks we're funny, does he? Man, it's always the same thing with these idiots. So now we know there's a bunch of people being kept down there. Yeah. All right, let's go free them from the idiots. All right, if we find anyone being forced to work, let's tell them to run. <laughs> What's with you? First you're panicked, now you're laughing. You're pretty moody yourself, Rita. You're not really one to talk, Carol. Just shut up. <laughs> I'm so glad we found you here. I mean, I gave up going back to the capital. So even if you had visited me, I wouldn't have been there. Oh, how sweet, Rita. You were gonna go visit Estelle. Uh, I wouldn't go to the capital just to visit someone. I mean, I have to report my findings on the air krennic. I just thought I'd say hi or something. 
I don't know. That sounds like an excuse for a visit with Estelle to me. You stay out of this! Oh, come on. We're all together again. Let's just be happy about that. Taking you down. That's what happens when I get serious. These are the three. here and a group of those red eyes looks like Hugh Moore has become their new client hey do you think that guy who talks all funny could be the red eyes boss it sure looks that way from here get to work no slacking off you worms Look, that's... it's Teagle! If it's money you want, you'll have more than you can use. Now work! Wait! Who? Yuri Lowell! What are you doing here? The princess! You have no right to call yourself a knight. Brute force is not the way to honor the prestige of the Empire. Put down your weapons now. You will also release the people you have tricked into coming down here. This all might be easier if such a naive little princess were to simply disappear. All of your utopian ramblings make me sick. That's not the kind of thing someone with delusions of becoming Commandant of the Knights would say. It's you. You'll be all right now. Jaeger, get rid of them. Yeah, my lord. Nothing personal, you see? Just business. Strike! 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 Strike!
Just let it go. We should dry off first. I must admit, you're very strong. Sir Kumor, it's the Flynn Brigade. Flynn? Well, send him away. We tried, but he insists on coming down to perform an inspection. That lower quarter lout, he simply has no tact. Gosh, Dwight. Yes, Jaeger. This is our time to shine! I think we better be making the escape, yeah? Ah! What is this? Please, step this way. Move! Move! Time to get a move on! We'll get you next time! What an original line. If we don't follow them, they'll... Wait! Our job is to rescue Teagle! But... I don't know whose job is what, but are we following them or not? Everyone freeze! That's enough! Hey, just in time. Yuri! Can you get up? I yes Sorry, but it looks like something's come up. You'll have to head back by yourself. Say hi to the wife and kid for us. I will. Thank you. So we are going after them. Yeah, I'm sure Flynn has things under control here. Sound good, Carol? Yeah. Plus, I think Estelle's gonna take off after him any minute. Sorry. Jeez, we're going after them, right? So let's get going. All right. Yuri, wait! Gotta run, Flynn! Lady Estelise, this journey is far too dangerous for... <sighs> I wonder why my bag works so well when I hit enemies with it. Huh? You don't know how your own bag works? Yeah, not really. Surely the bag just has a high level of air conductance. Air conductance? It's a measure of how easily something carries air. The air produced when you use strike arts must be easily conducted through that bag. So that's why enemies get weaker when I hit them with my bag? Exactly. It's the same as with my belt. Different people have different items that carry air for them more easily. Wow, interesting. Thanks, Rita! You sure don't know much about your own possessions. I guess I better take good care of my bag. <laughs> 